Hello and welcome back to this Let's Play series for City Skyline in our city called Winchelsea. If any of you have been watching the previous episodes, you'll note that I've been struggling. Not struggling, it's just been taking a long time to get to Milestone 8 so I can unlock high, des high density residential zoning. And I've just opened to do the next episode and I've hit milestone eight. Haven't played since, haven't touched the map. I'm very confused. I'm going to guess that they've done some form of update in the background that's unlocked achievements or whatever you have to do to get XP that I read somewhere that it wasn't quite working before. So that must have been what's happened and now I've I've earned the XP in the background and as soon as I've logged on I've now hit the next milestone. Which which is great. It's I don't think it's good to do that without sort of putting something in the game saying, by the way, we've we've given you this XP or we've you've unlocked these achievements because I don't know what, what's caused this. I could do this episode, come back next time. And the whole town could be different with new unlocks because I don't know what's happened. But anyway, it's a good thing for this episode because it means I can start building straight away what I wanted to. So let's just take a look at what we've unlocked. We've got nearly 2 million in cash, 8 development points and 10 tiles. And we've unlocked the high desert density. I don't know why I can't say that word. High density residential which is what I wanted and oil drilling which is going to be good hopefully for cash flow if I've got oil deposits somewhere. So I'm just going to pause the game and we're going to be coming into this central city area where the high density and commercial is going to be placed and it's going to be a very built up area. I did have an idea when I loaded this game in placing a large roundabout in the middle instead. So it's almost like a central point of the town or the city, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be a city. I don't know whether to place it at the front here in this section or at the front in this section. So I'm just going to delete some of the roads and I'm going to play around with it and see what it looks like. So essentially we're going to have the large roundabout which isn't actually as large as as I thought it would be. Very large roundabout I thought would be huge. I'm just wondering I haven't unlocked it on there. I'm wondering if I could create the roundabout myself. And make it larger. So we've done these as four lane roads, I think. That's the central point there. Which I'm just going to draw a line out. And then I'm hoping that If I bring this that way, and then if I do the same here, it's almost like its own roundabout. I'm just going to delete that street in the middle, and that's a much bigger roundabout than before. Let's make this join up. I could have a road going through the middle as well, but I, I don't want to overcomplicate it because it might look might look a bit silly. I need to change the tool mode. I thought I already did that. This one's a little bit different. 
to make sure this is aligned properly. I think that looks quite quite good. I'm hoping it functions as a roundabout. Anyway, I've adjusted that camera now. That was a that was a bit of a weird moment. The the button seems to have changed. So I'm thinking if I look at the other roundabouts that we have. Now I still have issues with this game sometimes where it catches like it almost freezes for some reason. It's been an ongoing issue. It's not on not a problem with the machine because I've run so many other games that require demand a lot more performance and it runs smoothly. So it's it's definitely something with this game. So yeah, I think I need to make these roads one way. If I just zoom out there. Because otherwise it's not going to function effectively as a roundabout. So let's upgrade this. I don't know which way to make it. I think I need to make it the opposite way. How do I change this the other way? That's the question. Yeah, the issue here is I don't know how to make it the other way. Let's do it this way to start with. So it means... That's no, it's, that's not going to work. It needs to go the other way. You used to be able to shift click to change the direction and... I have to figure out a new way of this will do so the traffic will come on to the roundabout fairly easily and then it can go round they can come off change lanes that's going to work very well and then in the center there I feel like we should put some sort of monument or something I don't know if I've unlocked tourist attractions bronze statue that's something which I can actually unlock now. That's part of the development points. Let's have a look. Tourist attractions. It's the very last, obviously, it would be. So I, I can't unlock that now because I'm not spending all that money. All them points straight away when I don't need to. But this will be a good area to have a statue. We'll put some trees around it. And it will almost be like a an Arc de Triomphe. If you don't know what that is, that's the the monument, the very famous monument people visit in Paris near the Eiffel Tower. And it's on a huge roundabout and everyone has to cross to get to the middle to see it. So I might also put some paths there for for the tourists to enjoy. I feel like that's a good central point to have. And now we're gonna have a look at the high density. I also want to place, I want to be strategic here and place the ones mixed housing with commercial at the bottom. Because we don't want, we want high density housing in here, but I don't want it all to be housing because some of it's going to be shops and restaurants and everything else that we have. And offices, of course, of course there's going to be offices. So I think we're going to have to be strategic in how we place this and I'm going to do this all on pause because I don't want to mess it up. So this street I feel like that's going to be an open street and then we're going to have shops or commercial. I'll call them shops, I don't know what they're going to be. We're going to have the main shopping street. We'll have some there. This way. <coughs> ah. We'll have some going down this section. And then this is going to be. I 
think the major shopping area. We'll have some going down this section. And then this is going to be, I think the major shopping area. We'll have that section, that section, We'll have that section for now, and I want to put some shops down here. And then we're going to put some at the front as well, but I want to put the high density residential. We're going to start placing them within this area. We're going to have some offices. I don't know why that, that road's gone red ever since I've done the office area, which is very odd. Let's put some more high density in here. And that's it for the zoning. I'm going to press play and let this start building. Remember, we've only got one entrance into this place at the moment, which will change. This whole area is going to be built up, but I'm going to have some bridges cut across. I just haven't decided where. Because the original plan was to have a bridge coming across from by the college area. However, this is a nice residential place which I don't want a major bridge with traffic. I could do it from this roundabout, which might make more sense and then people have to cut through. Yeah, I might do that instead. Obviously I don't need to do that yet, but that's just a plan for the future. So while this city section is building out, I'm going to have a look at this college area because I want to remove these buildings. I want to move the medical clinic and I want to almost have this as, maybe not this, maybe I want to move the college. I want to have a campus. I was gonna consider moving this college, but now I've built all this residential area behind. I don't want to ruin that. Let's get rid of these, this zone. I'm just gonna delete these shops. They're all gone. And I need to de-zone the area just to make sure that we don't get any more appearing. The medical clinic here, I'm hoping I can move it. I can. Put it on the main road. I am actually going to put it on the main road for now. 15,000 to move it. That's fine. I'll take the hit for that. Then I'm going to remove these roads and for some reason again it's still doing it where it just it will remove a house that's nowhere near the road. I don't know whether it's because the car, I'm just going to click that. I don't think Beechwood Street, Mulberry Street, I'm just checking, I don't know whether it was because the cars that belong to the houses have been removed, so it removes the people that live there, but no, I think it's just a bug. A bug that still exists, that's still just removing housing for no reason. So... I'll fix the wind area in a second. The idea is, if I click back on here, we can expand this with 
a football field, which I don't know why it has to be. I don't know why it can't go flat alongside the road here, why it has to be attached directly, but I'm just going to see what the upkeep is, 15000 a month. I'm not ready to spend that yet, but I'm just considering where this is going to go. I think it's going to go at the back. I would like it to go flat right next to it, but it won't won't allow me to do that for some reason. All I can do is show contour lines, it won't. Well, let me flip it round, but this is going to be placed at the back, I'm going to assume now. So I'm going to bring a road up. I've just got to note where this touches. It touches the very back. That's fine because I don't want to build a road in place of where that's going to be. So instead, I need to bring this. I need to make this curved a bit. I could just bring this road directly. I'm thinking that it doesn't actually need to be a road here. I'll put it in for now. It's going to be a bit of an odd, odd looking road because I don't want to intersect. Let's see. So I don't think that's going to intersect, but until I put the building down, just touches. When I put the building down I'll reconstruct that road and I'll make it look a lot nicer because it looks terrible at the moment. So we're going to press play. We've kind of cut off that area again which is fine. We have the roundabout here. This section's fairly open. I could build around this, put some trees in, I haven't yet decided how I want to do that. I am going to place some paths going through there. Let's take a look at how this is getting on. It's not going very far because I've only just pressed play. But they're constructing, which is good. I think let's take a look at the oil. And I realise I'm jumping ahead quite a bit here but that's okay so we haven't unlocked this area yet we do however this is a risk because this is right on the pollution path don't know what to do there. I want to put the oil down to start drilling and generating the oil but I have a feeling that by doing that I'm going to add more pollution if I show you. Currently the air pollution from this industry is blowing all across this entire city nearly and the more I add, the worse it's going to get. So my idea is to bring the industry out to this section or further down where it can't impact anything. It's a tough call because there's oil deposits in this section here. But I like the idea of some coastal suburbs being built up in this little valley potentially on the mountains I don't know how that works however I do have a coal mine here already 
so it could be a case of putting some specialised industry up there and I want to remove these buildings and place them out of the way but if I have industry down here it's going to be too far away from these people to get to work so we're in a bit of a tricky situation I don't like the wind direction for the map and it's something I should have considered when it started I think up, up here might be the best option at least the wind will blow see what this an outside connection point oh, okay I didn't know whether you could switch between another map which would be quite quite interesting so that's interesting I, I'm not going to build the oil yet unless I unlock the tile where it is Let's just have another look quickly. So there's a huge oil deposit there. If I unlock that tile, which I think's that one, let's unlock it. Then I might place it as far away from the road as possible. Let me unlock the other tile. I'm hoping that by doing this I'm going to generate some form of income, which is why I'm spending the money to do it. So I do need to place the node down. I'm just going to pause that. So I'm going to unlock this tile as well. And let's see what we can do here. This is a huge area. side of the circle. Which is very odd. I don't know why that is, that must be I must be able to put other buildings down then. Let's try and drag this node out here. I obviously need the road to be able to come in. Let's let's put the road in quickly. I'm just gonna put a T-shaped road. Get rid of the snapping. jump back to the nodes and then we've got to bring this one all the way down seems to be snapping to something there which is odd distance too long I don't I still don't know whether these need to be exact on the edges to be effective and what I'm doing could be pointless I'm gonna try I'm gonna do it anyway because that's what I've done with the other buildings just make it look 
it looks a little bit neater anyway. I think it's because it's snapping. Let's try. Yeah, it's trying to snap to something there. I'm not sure what's. Just want to bring that one little node in, but that's fine. Let's just see what we've got with this area. A huge huge ugly spot it should have electricity now that's it's saying it's not connected to electricity so I can't have a gravel road by the looks of it which is a shame. Let's have an alley instead. I feel like the alley will and of course it's not going to upgrade because of this. now so now I'm gonna to have to adjust the nodes again just to allow the road to expand we'll do this side because this one looks a lot worse than the other side we'll bring those out I'm also going to bring that down because I need to adjust the road at the top Hopefully we don't still get the message. Need to upgrade these roads perfectly on the edge. Let's just test to make sure that they get the correct things. Still not. It's not connected to this road that runs through the middle does not carry any form of electricity or water which is good so I'm gonna have to run a cable underground which I think I can do let's go down snapping off. Why did it jump into the other side? I'm not sure what's working there. What's happening there? Not working. I wonder if going to purchase this tile and then I'm going to upgrade the road that's the only logical way I can think of 
dealing with this. So if we upgrade, oh, I need to turn the snapping off because it doesn't work. I have to get these perfectly in the middle, which doesn't always work because otherwise it looks like that. This is an issue with the game, in my opinion. It's not. I shouldn't have to perfectly align these because the snapping doesn't work. And also, I can't perfectly align without any guide. I have to just visually look and see when it looks like it matches, which there looks fine. But then when I press it, we get that weird little jump in the road, which just doesn't look very good. I'm hoping that will be corrected. Again, I'm pretty sure it's not my fault that that's happening. See, that looks perfectly lined up there. I press, and then we still have that. If I just move that off, we still have that weird little squiggle in the road where it looks like a new road's been built. And there's no chance of me lining that up perfectly. That actually looks better because it hasn't actually attached the white lines, so it does look normal. I don't think... I'm just going to check because I'm sure I unlocked road services and I just want to see... I don't want that selected. I just want to see if I can change this stop sign this is a stop sign no right turn no straight ahead no left turn I don't know how if there's the option to remove traffic lights what I want is to allow this road to free flow with the traffic and only have this road as a stop sign but it doesn't look like I have the power to do that yet which is that must be a mod that I'd have to use to do that so let's press play we should now have the water and electricity hit in this place which is good I'll quickly fix these nodes because it looks it looks like a child's drawing at the moment. Which to be fair most of my city does so it fits in quite well. You know you look at some of these cities that people build and not mentioning any names but I'm sure you would have seen them and they are incredible. It's the way people think to do certain designs and the cities almost look real. And then there's me doing this city that looks terrible. But we learn as we go. It can't all be perfect. There's a lot of things I've learned since playing the game. A lot of bugs that I found with the game that I don't particularly like that I thought would have been fixed by now. And it's looking like not only are they not going to be fixed now, they're not going to be fixed anytime in the future because I believe the devs are having a Christmas break. Which, obviously, no complaints there, everyone's entitled to, to a Christmas break, but it just means the next patches and fixes, whatever's coming, is, is going to be delayed by at least a month. Not, not delayed, but just planned for another month's time, and then we're going into the new year, and there's still persistent bugs and issues that are happening across the game, which I don't like. 
just to jump into this area. I think I'm actually regretting placing regular commercial down here. I'm actually going to remove them. And I know that's crazy. But it doesn't look like I wanted it to. I don't know how the commercial buildings develop. Let's have a look at this section. Because this is the very first commercial I built. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. I think all of these buildings are going to have to be residential with commercial underneath. And the city's going to hate me for doing this, but... It's the right thing to do. I want it to be like one of those cities where you have tons of shops, but then they're not flat, smaller buildings. They're um, almost not high-rise buildings, but they're higher than usual. And that's what I want in this city area. So I'm going to remove the zoning on that. The offices, again, I don't like the way they look. And I have to wait for milestone 10 to do high density. So what's going to happen is I'm going to rezone the offices that are here when I unlock that. I'm not going to wait because it's going to take forever. So, if we choose this mixed housing, this is going to be a little bit different. I don't think the demand is there, which is the issue. I don't have demand for the medium density, I only have demand for low. So we're going to have to leave that to develop as it goes. Now this section I want to continue with the same suburby type area that I've got here. So we're going to have to place some of the housing on the outside of here. In the little cul-de-sac area. And I'll make sure that I add a shop because it's important that they have somewhere to shop. It's only going to be small 3x3s. Three we'll have a 4x4 four four there. Just to satisfy the needs of anyone that's in this area. I like the way these areas have turned out. Once the trees start growing, I think this is going to be a nice, a nice little area. Obviously, as we get closer to the to the oil drilling facility, it's going to be difficult I'm, I might stop at this section maybe have it cut off here and then have a bridge going across and have another section to replicate this here however I don't want the pollution from this blowing into which I've only just realized let's have a look at the air pollution now quickly it's okay actually, it goes down the valley, so if I build stuff in this section, I might get away with it. That's fine. So let's continue adding the sections here. I do like the layout of these roads, so I'm going to keep that. We do have high demand for this, so that's fine. place as much as I can get. We'll start building up the, the population. Again, I'm going to put a tiny 
shop in one of these sections. I'm not sure where. I think there makes sense. We'll also put a 3x3 three three there. I'm just going to check. We don't have any elementary school here. Which I'm actually going to consider placing to educate these people. I'm wondering if I place it next to college, it will reach everyone, but there's just a house on the edge. I think I can remove that house. There we go. Elementary school next to the college that will serve all of these people makes it a bit more of a high-end area more desirable place to live hopefully it'll bring some more people in it's going to affect my funds at some point but that's fine i think it's important healthcare they have access to from somewhere garbage situation I think they have I might have no I haven't so the garbage I need to create a district down here which is going to be this whole section Coleridge Glen I like that name I'm going to make sure it's the recycling is operating here so that's satisfactory the the fire stations are not they're at risk at the end, but I'm okay with that at the moment. Obviously in the city area, it's quite dangerous. We're going to need to put a fire station in. It's going to have to be a large one as well. That's what she said. So the idea, if I bring a bridge across from this roundabout, this one here, I bring the bridge across Hopefully, it will give all of these as a crime scene. So we're going to start getting issues here. In fact, I am going to build a temporary bridge. Let's have a look to see how easy it's going to be to do this and how much it costs, first of all. 30 grand. I don't think that's too bad. Let's do it. That then gives access to the education to everyone here, to the healthcare. The police it doesn't, which is a shame. The fire it kind of does. And the death care it must do. I might move the hospital that we've got up here down into this area somewhere on the outskirts so that just that bridge will just serve as a connection for now and then when I when this is fully built out we'll start constructing a better bridge one of the nice ones with the arches I don't think this too bad. We need to increase demand. Public transportation is going to be an issue because we're going to have to add that into this city, which I'm not not ready to do yet. There's still a lot more to consider. I am actually going to place a park. I think a dog park might be a good idea, or a plaza.
in this section. I just don't know where to place it. Maybe, maybe this section is quite a good idea. Place one of those there, and then a dog park, I think. Which is that one? We'll place the dog park. Maybe opposite. And then I'll build some paths and trees around that to make it make it look a bit nicer. But that's gonna increase the chances for people to to move here. The education is gonna help. We have the healthcare. Just trying to make sure all bases are covered, really. I think the fire station, 211,000 a month is extreme. But it's going to cover a lot of areas. We're definitely going to need that. Same with the police headquarters. That's going to help a lot. Then we're going to need a prison, etc, etc. But again, I, I don't see the need yet. We're, we're getting through slowly. If I look at my income, I'm just borderline making money. So I don't want to add... Add an extra 211,000 a month to my city yet. Just want to see the usage of this parking lot. 64%, 64%. It could be because I've placed them both next to each other that they're not performing as well. I just want to see if I can see how much the parking fees are making. Which I can't. We're producing what that is a diamond oh metal ore I can see it there that's good we're producing a high amount of that material goods I don't know if you can select or de define what goods you produce I, I don't know whether that's a thing we're creating here it's quite good because you have to expand the population and city in order to afford to be able to add more areas in which at the moment if I started placing all these expensive buildings down I'm going to start running out of cash but then again that's also how I increase demand which I'm just going to have a look at. I just have to remember how to do it. I'm sure there's a tab somewhere that shows you. Yeah, I can't remember where it is. There's a there's a way to find out. It might be on happiness actually. I think it's the happiness. The red points contribute to people not wanting to live. The green points contribute to people wanting to live. So we've obviously got lack of entertainment and high crime as a major one. So I'm actually going to put the police headquarters down, I think. Or the police station. I'm going to put a police station down for now, because we can always use it later on. I'm going to put it just here. It's going to send my money into the negative. However, it should increase happiness. We've got high crime on t plus 12 or negative 12. Just wait to see how long that goes into effect. I want to keep this smiley face on the 
next one up, hopefully. Polluted air is going to be an issue because I, I can't do anything about that. Now the high crime isn't going down. It's efficiency 90%, so it seems to be working, it's just not took into effect anything to do with the crime yet. Ideally what we need to do, I don't know why they're complaining about high rent, they chose to move there. Maybe if I place a park. Somewhere they might be happy with that. The problem is now these roads aren't connected. When I place a park down, it doesn't reach all of the people. I'm going to place it on the edge there. Why not? A little sea park for everyone to enjoy. Just to add something extra. We're still... We've gone up to 13 for high crime. I'm just going to speed up a little bit. I, I'm not too sure on why that's happened. Because I've got the police stations covering the areas. Yet, nobody's complaining about crime. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's have a look up this area. I wonder if it's this police coverage bad. So I think it's all of these areas, which is Very odd. I guess I need another one. Or need more vehicles, or I should have placed the more expensive police headquarters down, which I think I'm going to have to do because the more this city says undesirable to live, the less demand I'm going to get to build out this city area. So I think I'm, I'm going to drop this episode there. It's been quite a long one, figuring out some different things. Hopefully the next time I'm going to put the police headquarters down. I'm going to take the hit with the cash and I'll move this police station up, up the top somewhere. And then hopefully the demand starts increasing. I can build out this area and we'll get, get cracking with that. So thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions or want to see anything different, please feel free to drop a comment and I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe and catch you in the next one.